Namaste. Today we are going to explain this project model which is based on solid waste management in our city area. In today's scenario, due to the increment in population, urbanization, industrialization, there are production of so many solid waste which is challenging for us to manage. There are so many approaches globally but in context of Nepal it is hard to follow or implement because we are following the open dumping method which is not sufficient or effective. To make waste sorting easier, there are different colored dustbins. Proper use of colored dustbin is assured by different formal and informal awareness campaigns. Now, the waste are collected by vehicles and taken to the sorting area from which biodegradable waste like vegetable peels, leaves and wasted food materials are taken for composting. Beside biodegradable waste, reusable waste and recyclable waste are also sorted out and taken to the industrial area. The waste which are not in condition of reuse and recycle and takes longer duration to decompose cause the major model for managing solid waste and create environmental hazards. Durable waste are now taken to the sanitary landfill. Those waste get collected then compress in order to make small cells which help us to monitor gas and leachate production. These wastes are layered upon proactive layer which consists different types of decomposers. By the action of these decomposers, waste produces gases like methane and carbon dioxide. These gases are collected through higher gas collecting pipes and taken to the landfill gas conversion site from which we produce electricity. Along with the harmful gases, it also produces the liquid matter called leachate. Leachate is full of harmful chemicals, bacteria and other substances. To prevent the contact of leachate to the native subgrades, different layers are constructed in sanitary landfill. The fabric layer, denoted by red color line, is constructed by using geotextile, geocomposite and geomembrane. This layer helps to filter out solid particle mixed up with leachate. The filtered liquid passes to the leachate collection layer. From this layer, leachate gets collected by leachate collecting pipe and taken to the leachate treatment center. The leachate are processed through different steps and purified to make them usable in irrigation purpose or compost making. In order to protect native subgrid from the contamination with leachate, in case of sodden leakage, plastic layers and low permeable layers are constructed. Plastic layer is constructed using SDPE, high density polythene, and low permeable layer is constructed by using clay. In this way, we have presented our ways to manage the solid waste and produce electricity out of it. If the electricity produced by the sanitary landfill is not sufficient to sustain energy demand, we encourage the use of solar energy and windmill to conserve the environment. As our project model itself is an outstanding example of solid waste management because we have used the waste paper, waste cardboard and waste part of furniture to do our main framing and some of the materials used here are the parts of dismantled project works. Thank you for watching this video.